Hello there, and welcome back to yet another episode of the Verzian Chronicles. This is episode nine of the Baldur's Gate experience. Hi, hello. Last we left off, we were in Feldpost. Uh, I believe this is Feldpost. Bergost? Where are we at? No, we were supposed to go to the Feldpost Inn in Bergost. That's what we were supposed to do. Uh, and we're in Bergost right now. I don't know where the Feldpost Inn is, so I'm looking here at the... Uh, at the map, and I don't see it on my map, so it means I haven't been there yet. You smell. Thank you. Uh, lady, oh my goodness, someone, someone just stopped me in the middle of my walking and says, Keldrick Helden, Keldrick Helden, someone in the jovial juggler gave me a gold piece to come find you. Slow down, breathless child. Who is tossing money and hopes about and hopes in finding me? His name, her name is Officer Vi, and she's with the Flaming Fist, and you needn't worry, she's real nice. She's, uh, thank you, child, you've earned your gold piece. I will go to the Jovial Juggler and meet with Officer Vi shortly. Good, you folks are real nice. Mama says the Sword Coast needs some real heroes these days. Tamora, be with you. Aye, says Zahn, a wise man once said, pity the land in need of heroes. I pity the heroes. Bye! That's, that's Chloe saying bye. Uh, my entire party has decided to trap themselves inside a fence. Uh, and that's where? Jovial Juggler. Where's the Jovial Juggler? There's Red Sheaf. There's the Jovial Juggler. Well, let's go to the Jovial Juggler first, then. We'll head down to the Jovial Juggler. Get all my party members, all one, two, all six of them down here. Rasad, of course, running at the speed of sound. Running around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. All right, let's pop in here. I said pop in there. I said, there we Can go. Oh, Flaming Fist Mercenaries just popped right up. It says, ah, I've survived the one speaking to me. Says, ah, Keldrick Hilton. Thought it might be you. These southern parts are quite a flare with talk of your work in Nashville. I'm Officer Vi of the Flaming Fist, and to be honest, I could use your help. I am honored to be found worthy of your service, officer. How can I be assist of assistance? My contingent and I are cut off from Baldur's Gate. We haven't received new orders for close to a week, and to be honest, I don't like the feel of this at all. The bandit raids have been getting worse since you returned from Nashkel. I used to think they were just your usual brigands, out to make a quick buck in troubled times. Not anymore. They're working for someone. One way or another, I've got I've got my I've got to get my troops back to the gate. I'll pay fifty gold pieces for every bandit scalp you can bring me and spread the news. I want this whole region cleared before winter comes. Alright, so 50 gold pieces. Nice, we actually do have a couple bandit scalps to give her, so let's stroll on over to her position and speak with her. Emlyn, you're my speaker. You've been busy, I see. Well, keep at it. The more bandit scalps I have, the richer you'll be. I'll take all the bandit scalps you have. Alright, I don't remember who's holding the bandit scalps, but somebody is. I've got two. Two. Sell for a hundred. Nice. Very cool. That's a clear, clean, clear and clean 100 gold that we get for killing bandits. Nice. So now we know. Uh, guys, can you. Hello? Hello? Khalid? Khalid? Zan? What the fuck are you doing? No, go back inside, gather the entire party. Jesus Christ. All right, so now we need to find the Flaming Fist. Um, which, there's a lot of Bear Ghost I have that I have left completely unexplored as of right now. So let's do a little bit of exploration. Ooh, there's a really nice fountain in Bear Ghost. That's really cool. I like this fountain. It looks really nice. Now I'm kind of wanting to know what it looks like in... Um, and reloaded. And I'm kind of sad that the extra content didn't make it to reloaded. Especially with two on the verge of coming out. Um, that bothers me a little bit. This is Feldpost in. Is that the way I'm supposed to go? Hold on. Journal. Uh, man, visit the Feldpost in. Yeah, that's exactly where I need to go. We're looking for. Uh, a person named Transig at Feldpost Inn. So let's go take a look and see if we can't find this Transig fella. Inside. 
Okay, why can't I go inside the inn? Here now, get out. I don't like your typing here. Marl has run up to me and says, Here now, get out! Yeah, he just said what he said. You tell him, Marl. That was Duncan. And uh, we don't particularly care for him. We're looking for someone very specifically. We're not really going to talk to him. All right, we need to find Transig. He says, hey, I told you to get lost. Ain't no room in here for your troubles, troublemaking strangers. Um, it says, no need to get bent out of shape. There's plenty of bar for us all. Hey, I'll take whatever shape I want. I'm sick of you freakishly adventurous going out, consorting with God's notes what and dragging your trouble back to my hometown. What do you say to that? Um... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Go easy. Let's keep it friendly. How about I buy you and the rest of round a bar, the rest of the bar around? I ain't your friend. You ain't mine. It'll be cold day on the ninth plane before I drink with the likes of you. Best keep your filthy dungeon money yourself. Better yet, how about I put you on your dead money in the ground where it belongs? Uh, dude, don't. Oh shit! Zan immediately cast charm person on Marl, who is now perfectly fine. All right, everyone, get the fuck away from him. All right, I guess we're attacking Marl. He attacked us first. He opened the attack, and then everyone began attacking him. Um, the party just immediately is doing their job like the, like we told them to, uh, and uh, the target's gone. He had a little bit of money on him, a stone piece on him, and a piece I don't particularly care for. Everyone regroup in the middle of the tavern, please. Go talk to Duncan real quick because uh, he was definitely part of that brigand. Hey, don't click me! You murdering bastard! The flame fist will deal with you. No, no, they really won't. They really won't. He attacked me, and that was it. Sorry. We're still looking for Transig. I'm looking for a Transig. I was hoping I wouldn't have to fight him, but I don't know if there's a good way to deal with that. Otherwise, let's talk to the bartender and see what's going on with him. I got some cheap beer. Keep a low profile of your place. Topaz are, topaz are short for strangers right now. What do you want? Uh, first off, all I want is rent. I want to rent a night here. Thank you. Now, let's take a look at what he's got. He's got a couple things. We definitely might be able to use like a helmet of charm protectors. That's cool. How much money do I have? About 1400 All right, we're done. All right. So we're still looking for this character. I guess they're upstairs, so let's go upstairs. I don't see anyone downstairs. There's Transic. Found him. Quick saving before we speak to him. The entire party gets in here with him. Hello, Transic. Seems to me like these men want a little trouble. Transic. Trouble. Transic says, "Why do you bother me? Can't you see that I'm in a hurry to live out of this damn town?" I say, "Perhaps you could tell us why you're in such a hurry." I'm not going to tell you guys anything. Get out of my face. You won't be get rid of us that easily. We know you're up to no good. Now tell us everything you know. You know what I'm up to, eh? Well, maybe something you don't know is about my magic skills. You might not believe me, but if you ain't out of my face in the next five seconds, I'll blast you to kingdom come. Mm -hmm. You, wielding magic. Well, we, can, we can't suspend our disbelief that much. Come down now and surrender. We'll have to hurt you. I warned you, now you pay the price. And everybody immediately began to attack him. I was hoping uh, that we would be able to work with him. I am a dead man. Zan, uh, Zan is definitely hurt pretty badly. But that's okay. Zan. Magic missile, this asshole. And Zan's dead. He says, please, I give up. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Spill your guts. If you say what you say satisfies. You know what? I actually will reload that save. Um. All right. No sorrow for Hold on. Lost in I'm, I'm going to organize over here. So, uh, so my question is: the battle finished, and, and he and he screamed and he cried and all that bad, good jazz. 
So the question is, is how should we handle this? We know he's going to run. We, we know that for a fact, right? So the question is, how do we handle that? Now, let's walk in here one more time. There's not a whole lot of room to really kind of figure out what we're doing. So we're going to move everyone as close as possible. Zan, uh, my boy, you, why are you... Uh, I thought I set your default scripts up to uh, handle to... Let's check his script real quick. Refer ranged weapons. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Zan, I want you here. Emoin, I want you here. And... Rasad, I want you here. There. I'm actually individually clicking everybody to kind of get everyone where I want them to be. All right. Kale will be the one like talking to them. Want a little trouble. I'll give him trouble. Uh, we're going to say the same things. Perhaps you could tell me. Won't be, you know, you're, you're, we know you're up no good. Um, you wielding magic. Suspend your disbelief. All right. So first and foremost, let's do... There we go. And... What are you doing, Zen? Zen is doing the right thing. All right, let's see here. Um, go to Zan. Let's do magic missile on him, and then press unpause it. All right, that was a good hit. Uh, Emuin and Rasad are doing everything they can do. I think that's fine. Everyone is definitely doing exactly as they're told. Get in. There we go. Five acid damage, but that's okay. Zan uh, has hurt Jahira quite a bit. Does Jahira have any potions on her? I don't think she does, but she does have a cure light wounds. We'll just cast that on herself. She can do that while we're doing this attack. There we go. She's cast light wounds, and she is fine. We can turn around and have her attack again. Oh, shit. No. Jahira just took a shit ton of damage and passed. Wow. Please let me live. I'll tell you anything I want. Spill your guts. What satisfies us will let you live. Okay, okay, I'll talk. I'm a messenger for a man named Tajak. He ferried message between him and the priest named Molehe. I meet with Tazak at Adderpelville or Lars, what east of the friendly arm in. Tazak pays me good, so I keep my shut yap shut. Where can I find this Tazak? Tazak, you can't find you can find him in the wood of Sharp Teeth. He's the captain of two groups of bandits. The camp's always moving, so I don't know how much luck you'll finding them. Can I get out of here now? I'll have to kill you. So you do not tell him. And I am going to be killing him because I don't want him no want Tazak knowing. And he definitely also killed our friend. So which is aggravating, but that's fine. Um we'll just start picking up gear. All right. All right. Everyone gather around. We mourn for our lost. Yeah, we mourn for our lost. Loss. And Mullahay is the one we're going to want to speak to. Let's get out of here. Aggravatingly, it is now nighttime because we did rest. And it looks like uh, Jahira passed away in that fight. So we need to take our gander across town uh, and leave. While we're waiting, let's do Rashad's level up. Rashad. Rashad's level up. Um, he's got 10 skills. His stack was reduced by one point. Additional skill points, 10. Additional hit points, hit points 10. And we're going to grab, um, I think we're going to grab 10 points in fine traps. I think that's what we're going to do. So we have a second fine trapper. There we go. Handle done. So everyone moves. Where is Rasad? Rasad, what are you doing? Join the group, please. I forgot because I, I pulled him off. So Rasad now has an HP pool of 30, which is very nice. Uh, 
aggravating a little bit that he's got the highest HP pool right now, but whatever. All right. Grab the entire group, and we're going to go res resurrect our friend, our friend Jahira. Because her death is a sad one. But Mullahe, 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 Mullahe. Where have I heard that name before? Um, we're going to talk to Kildith and ask what kind of aid he can lend us. And we're just going to revive the dead here. All right. And we're just going to go cure serious wounds on this. Cure light wounds on this. There we go. And we're, we can just rest the rest of it away. There we go. And everyone's okay. All right. Now we need to reorganize our inventories because uh, our friend lost her inventory. We have a wand, which I will give to Zan. I have a glitter dust spell, which I will give to Zan. I have a ring, which I will... Oh, I don't... I can't do that yet, can I? I have a quarterstaff plus one, which we'll give to Jahira. I'm going to give Jahira her gear back because that's kind of important to me that we do that. Um, got a bunch of throwing hatchets, which is pretty cool. We got leather. We got a quarter staff. I have a ring. It's called Topsider's Crutch, which gives us infravision up to 100 feet. Um, that's fine. I like the idea of having infravision. That would be cool. You know, heard the healing potions. There we go. I'm a little aggravated that she died the way she did, but that, you know, that's life. That is just how life works sometimes. But I'm curious. There's another ring, and I want her to carry it. Let's see. Can we identify it? Okay. So we need to find a way to identify items, which I think the priest can do. Probably. Identify items. You can identify rings. Cost 100 gold, and it's an armor class plus one and a saving throws plus one. That's actually really awesome. Might give that to Rasad or Zan. I don't remember if there's anything else I need identified. Oh, a wand. Okay, yeah. It is another wand of magic missiles. Nice. Um, It's a 31 cast wand of magic missiles. Hell yeah. It's a very good one. Very, very good. Um, okay, I think that's fine. We'll actually give that wand whoever's got it. I don't remember who's got the wand. All right. Oh, we actually used the last of the other wand we had. Now, if we sell a wand and then return it, does it give us all of what's in it? Maybe. What does Glitter Dust do? Glitter Dust is a golden particles. All enemies in the area must roll successful save first spell. Be blinded for four or up to four rounds. Ooh, that actually might be useful. Very good. All right, let's leave. Very well done. Very, very, very well done. All right, so let's gather our party and take a look at what we've got going on now. We've got the Fisherman and the Priestess, which is east of the Baldur's Gate. We've got the ba the Bounties. Um, so, Kivan's still hunting Kazak. Um, we've confronted him, and I think we've kind of got an idea of where the camp is. So, I think a good idea would be to start exploring in that direction, maybe. I might not be high enough a level yet. Uh, but I know I can gain 50 uh, coin, 50 coin for every single time I kill a uh, bandit, for every time I, every scalp I get. So we might want to start hunting for scalps, might be what we want to do. So at this point, let's just find one of the exits and head north. I think that's going to be the way to go. Is it sad that our friend pa uh, nearly passed? Yeah, a little bit, but I think that's okay. In, in the general in the general sense 
um, just because it will help us a little bit. All right. Um, Cloakwood, Pinvale, Bandit Camp is opposite of Pin Pinvale. Um, we also need to head north. Firewine Bridge. It's one place we haven't been to, I don't think. Why are those marked in specific, like, weirdnesses? They're marked as yellow. All right, let's travel north here. It took 16 hours for us to travel north, and I really just wanted to see kind of... We went back into Ankhed territory is what we did. But the goal right now is just to travel north. I want to see what's up with this quote-unquote witch. So we're just going to walk north, I think, is going to be the play. And if we have to fight an Ankhed, we have to fight an Ankhed. Would I not want? Do I not want to fight the Uncats? Not really, but they're a thousand. Eight, they're a thousand experience a pop, so they're not too terribly bad. What did that raise his? I don't think his strength got raised at all. I, don't, I was like, what did that raise his strength to? It didn't raise his strength at all. What am I talking about? Every time I walk, I'm also saving just to be a hundred percent that uh, I'm not going to end up losing a life to an onkhead as I'm walking through this uh, this this land here, um, because these onkheads are just nasty creatures, and I'm worried. To be honest with you, I'm worried that we're going to get our our butts kicked if this happens. We've had two combats. We've had two combats. Once against a man right at the start of entering an inn. And the other one at the bottom of the inn, and I'm I'm a little or up top. All right, Ankit immediately appeared. It's appearing further away from us, so it's fine. We're just going to kind of ignore it. We did exactly that. We can travel to Bald Bridge of Baldur's Gate. Farmer is walking up to us and says, "Hey, who are you?" I'm going to say we're adventurers. Never met adventurers before. Love you a bunch of heroes. Maybe you can find out who's been dumping all the waste in the lakes around here. If you find out who's at fault, maybe put a stop to it. Permanent like. Ooh, someone is dumping wastes. All right, so we are at the bridge, or what I assume is the bridge to Baldur's Gate. Um, and just kind of exploring around. And we've got someone who is definitely dumping stuff away, which is bad. We're kind of just keeping an eye out on the 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 land, I guess. I don't know how to how to even start with that. Start saying what I'm trying to do. I'm just I'm just exploring. Why did those two just not keep up? It's a little weird, but okay. Rasad and Jahira just did not move forward with the rest of the group, and it's a little concerning. Oh, we found a house and someone named Tenya. Hello? Tenya? You are trespassing on my land home. None come this way. She goes, stop. She said what she said in the voice, but she says, none come this way armed as you are. It was those horrible fishermen that hired you, wasn't it? Speak. Oh, this is the, this is the, the quote unquote witch. Continue. It, that may be so, but they forgot to inform us that their adversary would be a young child. Rest assured, we will return and exchange, to exchange a few words with them. And perhaps more than simple words. Um, I'm going to say, um, they did send me, but I wish to only know what is going on. What is going on is none of your business. Leave now, lest you earn the same fate as they have. Um, Tenya? Um, hiring others to do what they could not tonight, so pushed in, but cried to all. Whoa, 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 Uh, don't talk to her again. I'm gonna let this play out and see if she stops attacking me. But yeah, don't, don't talk to her twice. Um, oh, wait. Okay, right, so she attacked us, so we assaulted in return, and she goes, Why did you do this? Don't you know what they've done? Sonner and the others, they are the evil ones. They killed my mother, and now you help them. She only did her duty, collecting the offerings from those who would use the sea. They stole her elemental summoning bowl and tortured her for the words that make it work. Now they misuse a gift from, Umber from Umberly to pillage the seas. My mother's spirit can't rest until it's returned. I have more power than mother had. 
Umberly gave me her anger, but I can't find the bowl. All I can do is hurt them till they give it back or die, but I'm so tired. I don't have Mother's will, and the goddess is so demanding. Help me, please. Child, I shall help as best as I can. Oh, oh, thank you. The queen, sea queen may not yet be satisfied with the return of the bowl, but one way or another, Sonner's group must no longer profit her expense. It's probably hiding, being hidden in a shrine to another god. I don't know where the shrine could is and couldn't even go near it if I did, but Sonner may tell you. You ask him with a blade. Go now, for Umberly is seldom patient, and you are yet on her good side. Okay. So we did attack her, right? Uh, or she attacked us. And the way that ended up turning out is she attacked us, but... But... We managed to prevail in this assault and uh, halted her attack. And as she lowered her HP, she turned around and talked to us. And it's like, hey, wait a minute. I'm not the bad guy here. They did, you know, e evil thing. So that actually puts us in a really cool situation where now we're like, okay, now we know what they did. They stole from her mother. They killed her mother. And we have to, we have to deal with this problem. Um, I didn't mean to talk to her again. That was not my intention, but I mean, I was going to actually reload right after I talked to her again. Uh, but I think this is actually the better solution, I guess. So now the goal is to find out where they hid the bowl. So we need to go talk to Sonner and find out what is going on. Sonner and the, and the boys, I should say. Uh, hopefully we don't run into any on kids. Those, those are really nasty creatures. Um, they're not nasty as in nasty gross, but they're nasty as in they will wreck my shit. And, uh, I don't trust them to not wreck, wreck my shit. So we're kind of doing two, we're doing twofold here. We're kind of exploring the lands a little bit. There's Farmer Bruin. Hello, Farmer. What's up, buddy? What's your deal? I want to actually get closer to you if I can. Hello, Farmer Bruin. What's your deal? Please, won't no one help me? Anyone? I have nowhere else to be turning. He then says, I beseech thee, kind ma'am, talking to Emoin, please help. It's strange happenings at my farm, and I'm not the strength I once had. I have nothing to offer, and even if I did, I doubt you would even doubt such as you would have need of it. Um, you have no, you look, you need no, blah, 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 blah. you need look no further for aid. What can I do? Oh, by the great mother, thank you. My son Nathan and his friends went looking for our missing cattle, but they end up just up and disappeared, being gone for days now. With all the bandits around, who knows what happened? I don't know where they were headed, but they saw some sort of tracks to the west. Please find Nathan. But I can't keep the fort. I can't afford to keep the farm uh, if he's gone. Okay, uh, so we need to also find Nathan. That's that's a, a bunch of quests. I probably could have picked these up earlier, in like chapter one or two, um, but I think it's okay. I think that is a, a fair asking uh, to help out m multiple people if we can. Certainly, I shall collapse from exhaustion. What the hell is this? All right, before we move forward, let's take a rest. We rested. And we found a hole. And Ankhead! And, um, uh, okay. Good news is we saved it right before we entered this hole. So there is a hole. Um, part of me wants to just send Rasad in and say, all right, let's do some sneakery. All right, just sneak around Rasad. And we're going to try to kind of sneak around as best as possible to see what's down here. I see some unkeds. We have successfully done our sneak in shadows bit here. Oh shit, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, uh, nope, 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 nope. We failed our just hide in shadows. We'll wait till we can do it again. Uh, okay, just gotta be careful. Rasad is the fastest, go, go, get out of here. So we do have a bunch of Ankeds in this dungeon. There's another Ankhead. Okay. So shit's bad. Um, and immediately get assaulted outside the dungeon by Ankeds. What the heck is happening here? Magic missile to the Ankeds. 
Uh, Rasad, get your ass out of the line of fire, please. While the rest of you... Who got hit? Somebody, uh, looks like Zan took a critical hit. Or Zan did a critical hit. Very good. And, uh, Zan also get the f out of here. Now turn and attack. Emoin as well. Get the hell out of here. Turn to attack. While the rest of the group fights up front. And we have succeeded. We also obtained a gold ring. Jesus Christ. And Rasad is now healed. That. Oh my goodness. So we got assaulted. I shall collapse we just the rested, Zahn. I do not understand how Zahn's fatigue work. Is it like literally one battle and then he's fatigued? Is that what's going on here? Anyways, so. I want to know what's in this in this cave here. So we know that these things can travel uh, to find us. Oh, perhaps we'll survive longer than I had originally Shut thought. up, Zon. <laughs> Shouldn't be saying that, but Jesus, that is annoying. How he was like, we'll survive longer than I... What is down here? I'm in this cave, this Onked cave, and I'm quick saving to make sure we can survive. I see an Onked. And it looks like everybody is up and running. Go. Why is Khalid attacking? Oh, he's actually attacking with bolts. Nice. Uh, it looks like ja who just broke their weapon. Heldrick just broke My boy just broke his weapon. No. Good news. I had weapons back in as backup, but still, it's bad. And the target died. Nice. And somebody just gained a level. Also very nice. What was that? Ghoul touch. What does that do? Cast a spell. Red glow. Uh, melee attack against a creature is punched for 1d2 damage. And I must be and might be paralyzed. Very nice. Um, bright magic. Nice. You can copy spells to your spell book. What? Dude. I didn't know you could do that. Awesome. All right. All right. Uh, I definitely leveled up. So, Kaldrick leveled up. So, let's go to his records and level him up. Uh, all that happened was I got 7 HP and my Thacko was reduced by 1. Okay. And that puts me at level 4, 3 or 4, something like that. I just still don't know what I'm looking for down here. Oh, I found a treasure cache. Perhaps this group needs not quite as much help as I All right, so immediately we're under assault. Um crossbowing. That's perfectly fine. We're doing okay. Everyone's at distance. It looks like the attack from the Unked missed. The second time did not miss. Save versus death succeeded. And the target is gone. And we found a bloodstone ring. Nice. All right. So, Emon, check out this place here. We got a found a wand. Okay. All right. So, it looks like we just need to... Like the group needs to pick up here and, and kind of get go through what's going on here. 
Um, all right, we're going to do that. What is this? Bruins? Oh, no. I found Bruins dead son. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Alright, so we're just going to get out of here now. That's sad. We found Brune's son. Um, okay, we do have a problem. What is this chainmail? I'm going to put this chainmail on him. Okay, it's the son who's, who's passed away. Who's actually making the load really heavy. So we're going to have um, Rasad carry the sun. Damn. Party's back together. Go. Alright, so now I've uh, rushed the party up to the location where they need to be. And hopefully we don't run into any Ankeds as on the way. No on kids on the way. Very good. Very nice. Very solid. And now we're outside. Let's go back to the farm and give him the bad news. I'm sorry, buddy. You have found my son. Is he well? I'm afraid, Nathan. Um, so my question here is, I'll not stop till I do. I, I want to do this right here. We're gonna pick Rasad and talk to him directly. Um, I said, I'm afraid Nathan is dead, sir. He died defending your farm from a nest of strange beasts. No, my only son, it's a black day. He died for this farm, but I'm too old to work it and too poor to hire someone else. I've lost him and this land. At least I know now. Thank you for your help, but I wish to be alone. Good on you if you save the day. Damn. 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 All right. Well, it looks like someone else gained a level up. So we're going to go do that real quick. Um, okay, one more point. Nice. Um, longbow. Oh, he has longbow ability. Nice. Um, that might be a way to go, actually. Okay, is throwing axes part of the axe line? It does look to be. Hold on. So, master, which is three shot, received three to hit plus three to damage and extra one attack, one to two attack, one half attack per round with specialized weapon. Um, Okay. That's pretty cool. So we'll do that on him. We'll give him another long sword ability. And I think that's way to go on him. Um let me look here at Rasad or who is it? Who who, who did I just do that one on? I did that on him. Um two handed sword, long sword, bastard sword. We're just gonna have him use long swords. Damn, 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 damn. Disappointing is the only way I can describe what just occurred. And I don't really... It's absolutely frustrating to, to, to have a situation where you're like, okay, I want to see if I can save your son. And then you find out that no, you didn't. You didn't even come close to saving his son. That sucks. It really does. So, Ring of the Princes. What is her mail? Um, Zan, your armor class is a 10, right? This will put your armor class at a 7. It's an 8 currently. Yeah, that way, if he has to go into fighting, he'll, he'll, he'll be fine now. We need to figure out a way to recharge this, um, to recharge this uh, item. I think you have to sell and rebuy it back. Uh, but you have to have the money to do that. And I don't know how much money that costs. 
Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. All right, so let's go do the next bit, um, which is deal with Somner and his party. Uh, before we do so, I think it'll be a good, good idea to rest until morning. All right, we immediately were under assault by an Unked, which we're pretty much handling fairly easily now. Yeah, we're, we're handling it fairly simply now. We've picked up an ability called Blur and gained another 900 experience. All right, let's rest one more time. All right, we rested. Everyone's good to go. We're saving it. Let's talk to Sonner. Just in case the three of them, these dumb nuts fight, I just want to be okay with this. Here we go. Back, I see. You done it? Have you killed the witch? The priestess has much to say about the group of you. She knows we sent you. Damn it, she'll kill us all for... No, and imagine our surprise when the witch we were supposed to kill was turned out to be a mere child. This kind of deception makes me very angry, says Jahara. Sonner says, hold your tongue, Telman. Now, I warned you she was treacherous. You've gone and believed her lies, haven't you? What'd she say, that we stole some bowl or something? Seems a pretty shallow excuse to kill us over, doesn't it? So I've said it's horrible, but poor fishermen. But what if we toss in an another hundred gold? All gold. Will that change your mind? Um, the child has said you killed her mother and have been taking far too much from the seas. I don't like being used, Sonner. It makes me angry. Well, that's it, then. The jig is up, isn't it? That... That... Witch... Priestess is taking tribute from us for years. The price just kept climbing, and you can't sail without appeasing Umberly. The cleric of Talos in Baldur's Gate said, Suffice it to say, we made other arrangements for our safe passage at sea. Part of that deal was a little payback as well. So you see, we're all pawns within the friendly rivals of the rivalries of the gods. You'd best tread carefully, lest you step on some powerful toes. Give me the bowl, Sonner. Won't ask nicely the next time. I suppose I have no choice. I had it on me the entire time. Felt it was safe that way. Take it. But know the storm. But know that the storm law knows who that who it is who opposes him. What you have done. What you've done. What you came for. And I get out of here. I should say well away. From, I should say stay, stay well away from any tower shrine if I were you. Vengeful things. These gods. Okay. Emoin's invent. Oh, I forgot Emoin's inventory is full, isn't it? Because I'm carrying all this extra shit. Um, let's just toss this over to someone who can carry it for now. Um, apparently his inventory is full too. Cool, so we got the bowl of elemental water control. And what is this? Oh. Apparently if you have too much stuff in your inventory, the inventory freaks the f*** out and says no. Uh, we do seriously need to go do some selling, so that's going to be soonish. Uh, give all of the magical items to Khalid right now. I'm aware of what I just said. No questions. No questions, only answers. I need a bag of holding is what I need. Um, Rasad, give this to Khalid. Give this to Khalid. They're magical darts. Most likely going to be sold off because I don't particularly like to use them. But let's make sure I didn't get any magical bullets or anything. Um, okay, that's fine. Save it. No fighting. That was very nice. So let's go give the bull back. The sound of the Onkid pit really kind of unnerves me. Just a little bit. It's this it's just weird, this weird skittering sound that I'm not the scuttle 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 style sound that I'm not a big fan of. But that's fine. We have all our men, all our people are together. Uh, our entire group has survived so far. And I feel like that we're doing okay. Zan still needs some more HP, but with Zan sitting in the back of the group casting magical spells, casting wand spells, stuff like that, I think we're okay. And um, Zan in particular has some really cool abilities that I think works in our favor. Um, plus... Being good at being good with a being good with a uh, sling is always useful, and not casting wild magic at us willy nilly is also super useful. All right, so it took us four hours to reach this area. 
And I don't believe there's any battles on the way there, so we can just walk directly to the Flame Princess. So while we walk that way, how have you been enjoying the series so far? We've had about this is we're beginning month three of the of the show of this season, and uh, I'm really happy with where things are going, with how things are progressing. I don't feel like they're progressing too slowly. We're doing side quests and main quests at a pretty uh, quick pace, and we're gaining experience at a fairly uh, hasty pace, which makes me happy. So I, I think I think everything's okay. Tanya says, you return. I trust you bear good news. Here's the bowl that was taken from your mother. Perhaps she will now rest. Umberly is mother now, and she was well pleased. She will deal with Sauna's group in time, and Talos will no doubt abandon them for their failure. They are wise. They'll never set sail again, for the sea will take their worthless lives. I have no reward for her, for you, but the Sea Queen remembers those that serve her well. You will be paid in time. Okay. Wow. Yeah. We must proceed carefully. Um. So I'm, I'm trying to understand what just happened. She just vanished. Um. It says, "Okay, hold on." Uh, journal update says I've been promised a reward, future reward, by role in vanquishing the fisherman aligned with Telos. Strange, though, I did not feel as if I've helped a child as much as I've been maybe in the pawn of a spiteful god. Deities are not to be trifled with. They trifle back. As soon as that happened, we gained 2,500 experience, which is nice. And Khalid popped up and says, what? Oh, oh, Emo, and I would I wish you wouldn't do that. Just practicing my sneaking up on people. Didn't mean to scare you. Well, you, you didn't quite. Oh, c come on. How am I going to improve if I don't practice? I say I have the basics down very well, but next time warn me what you're up to. This will make a real test of your abilities. Yep, you're on. Okay, so I guess that was an, an inner character monologue sort of deal. That's fine. Uh, we're all trying to go inside this house. Let's see if there's anything here. I doubt it. There's two There's a, two locked chests. Uh, but considering they, they once belonged to a god, I do I feel bad about touching them? Not really. Let's check, see what's in these chests. Locked and locked. That's what I expected. Emon, can you unlock them? Thieving skills, unlock. Lockpick succeeded and we gained 25 gold. Some darts and a dagger. Don't care for the darts. Thieving. Lockpick successful. 18 gold, a jade ring, and a sky drop gem. Very cool. Very, very nice. All right, so now uh, it's high time for us to leave, I think. Uh, can we leave from this upper quadrant? Is there a way to do that? Because I just, I just really want to. We're going to explore what's above the house here. Oh, another Ankhod. Okay, cool. All right. What does this do? Equipped abilities. It doesn't do anything. Okay. Go. Alright. Uh, the Ankhad's near death, so not very bad at all. Uh, the Ankhad didn't even have a chance to attack, so very nice. And someone else gained a level up. We also got Nestor's Dagger? Who? Who's Nestor? Um, okay, I don't know who Nestor is, but I guess we have it now. Uh, and who leveled up? Uh, Zan did. Nice. Hello, Zan. You leveled up, my friend. Level up. Uh, two, level two spells and lore increased by three. Also four hit points, which is correct for a source. So very nice. Everyone's leveling up. That makes me happy. Let's leave. Olgoth's beard is north of us. I Now that I've unlocked it, I kind of want to go up there. But, 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 I feel like it would be a better use of our time to head back to the inn. Just saying. It's probably a better use of our time to head back to the inn. 
and see if we can't get the items in our inventory identified uh, of some sort of way and um, go from there. We're walking around the inn. We're walking around on the far right side. I think we did this in the original version uh, just to see what was over here. And if I remember correctly, there's nothing over here. But I could be very wrong. I could run across something that maybe wasn't in the original. Or maybe, yeah, because I don't remember doing it on this profile. Which I guess makes sense because if I had done it, it would be uh, lit up. So, nice. Go me. Go team. Let's go find out what all this stuff is. And we have a dagger from Nestor. Have I met a Nestor? I don't know. If uh, if an Unkhead has your dagger, there's a very solid chance you didn't survive long enough to lose said dagger. So that might be something good to think about. Um, if I'm not mistaken... head into the... Gorion would be proud of your actions. Thank you, Khalid. Thank you. I know Gorion would be proud of me. Where well, I think we're doing okay. I think as far as the, the group is leveling up, I think... I know that this is like part one, and I think the highest level you're going to reach is probably going to be six or seven. So we're a good like... We're not halfway through it, but we're, we're pretty good way through it. All right, I want to go talk to Miss Galana Mirror Shade over here because I think Galana can do um, can do identifying. She can, nice. All right, so let's identify the wand. It is a wand of fire, and it has fireball and Agnar Scorcher. Which is 66 fire or 66 plus 6 fire for 80 feet. Save versus one for half versus... Uh, one's a jet, one is the other. Okay, that's that's actually really cool. Um, we'll need to look at and see how we can do this. I got a dagger plus one. A dart of stunning. A dart of wounding. Nice, let's go check to see if anyone else has got anything that needs to be identified. I could have swore there was a ring that needed to be identified. Mm, probably not. I guess not. Nope, I guess not. Okay, uh, that's actually awesome. So what I want to know is, for example, what does Chaotic Commands do? Renders a creature immune to commands, uh, such as uh, Suggestion Charm. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm looking here. Um, I can't sell a lot of this stuff. The Wand of Fire has 12 shots on it. That's good to know. What I want to know is how do we recharge the wands? I'm going to try to see if I can sell it to the innkeeper up here and see if we can get it back. I think that might be the way to go. You, 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 you think? Sell it to the innkeeper and see if they can... Uh... So what I want to do is we're going to do two things here. Um, so where's this one? All right, 27. Save it. All right, let's walk up to the barkeeper. There's Dorn. Uh, exactly where he said he was going to be. Um, there's Nessie. There's Bentley. Hey, Bentley. How you doing, buddy? What do you have to sell me? Okay. So the question is, can I, for example, sell the Wand of Magic Missiles? And I could buy it back at six grand. Okay, so that's the key is you could sell it and then buy it back at full charge. Okay, that makes more sense. 
He can also learn, he can learn Burning Hands. He can't learn Magic Missile, but he can learn Burning Hands. So that actually might be a good idea. I wanted him to become an, an up close. That's fine. Uh, we're going to reload it. Um, and it looks like actually Jahira had leveled up recently. I didn't notice that in the records. So club, quarterstaff, sling. We're going to make her a proficient, more proficient with the um, quarterstaff since that's what I got her working with. That gives her a plus one to hit, plus two to damage, and an extra attack because she is a fighter slash druid. So very nice. She's a half elf, which automatically comes with that. Um, so it costs like six grand to recharge one of these wands, effectively, is what it's what, what I'm understanding. But what I am also understanding um, is we're gonna sell off a lot of these rings that I don't need. Arrows of Fire can be sold. Jade Ring can all be sold. It's a little bit of money. Um, we still need to identify that chainmail. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Oh, can he, we can't do that from here? Okay. Short Sword plus one can be sold. Uh, the Dagger plus one can be sold. Darts can be sold. And I don't want to sell Nestor's Dagger because I don't know what good it's used for yet. Hmm. Mithril Ring can be sold for a pretty penny. I like that. Um, let's do this. We're making a little bit of money here. We've ended up with about three grand worth of cash in our hands. Um, And I almost forgot that I had been filling my bag up with just stuff here. So I ended up selling like... Oh. I ended up selling like... We made like four, two grand in that run right there. That's all pretty fairly well done in my opinion. I think this is a good episode. I think that this is a good episode, y'all. So we've we've ended kind of where we started. Friendly arms in. We haven't fought the bandits yet. We haven't even started that direction. But everybody got to level up. Almost everybody got to level up. I think Emoin didn't. Let me double check here at what our records look like. She's really close to leveling up. Um, so is Khalid, or so is so is uh, our our Keldrick. And yeah, so she is probably the last one, the only one that needs to level up at this point is her, is Emoin and Kaeldrick to their next level. But I think that is super solid and we can continue on our quest for victory and for glory along the way. Uh, if you like what you heard here, please check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Kylie Kane. If you wish to follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash the Verzian. Uh, you can also find me in other locations across the internet. You can find me on TikTok under Kylie Kane. You can find me, you find the Discord, which links in the show notes. You can find that link in the show notes below. Um, I think that covers really everything. Um, if you're looking to talk, check it out. Check us out on the Patreon. We've got two new series. These are standard Let's Plays. They are, um, there are a few episodes up of each right now. One is a no continues run of Simon's quest. And the other is a Pokemon infinity Nuzlocke. So if those are your jams, um, go check those out. As far as the uh, Simon's quest goes, uh, one rule is if we do lose, we will be continuing. I'll be continuing in shame after the, uh, that episode goes live. Whenever it does, uh, the failure episode goes live and I'll be continuing on in shame on stream you can find my streams at twitch.tv slash Kaido Kane or at the uh, Verzian Chronicles YouTube channel, uh, which I believe is just the Twitter, uh, youtube.com slash Kaido Kane, but I'd have to double check that. Uh, you can always, you can just search us up at the Verzian Chronicles YouTube channel. Um, I think that covers everything. I hope you have a wonderful evening, wonderful day, wonderful morning, whatever it may be for you. 
And um, if you uh, if you're out and about, wash your hands, stay masked up, and uh, stay safe, my friends. Have a fantastic time. Bye bye. <laughs>